Welcome everybody. On this episode of Octane TV, we're going to be going over the new Osmo Pocket 3 and the pre-existing Pocket 2. Some of the major differences I can tell you from using this, now I've only had this for a short amount of time. The major differences I can tell you is obviously size. Size is, is huge. This is almost probably about one and a half inches longer with the actual new handle. If you take the handle off, it's maybe only a fingertip length difference in size. It is a little wider and it is a little bit heavier. But let me tell you what I think the advantages the main advantages of the actual Pocket 3 is compared to the Pocket 2. This is my opinion only, but I can tell you right now from the little bit of filming I have done with the Pocket 3, the one inch sensor is worth the money by itself. Without any other upgrades, the one inch sensor is honestly the biggest value in my opinion to buy this camera. I've wanted to buy something that could keep up with my ZV-1 it could come up with like a ZV-E10 or any of those kind of quality of standards you get with the Sony sensor in low light. Everything I do is usually at night or midday, and I do do some stuff during the day, but that is where the Pocket 2 was amazing. And using the tracking, I could connect it to the back of my car, use my phone, and I could follow cars all the way down the street with zero problems with stability driving on rough roads. It worked awesome and nobody could ever believe it came out of this tiny little camera right here where it struggled was at night or when it got dark or in low light this camera from what i've seen so far is one of the best cameras for low light now i'm going to put it up against some of the heavy hitters like my zv1 is the absolute best camera in low light so if it can beat or come close to the zv1 in stabilization and low light that is going to be a game changer for me and probably be a game changer for you because the ZV-1 is my go-to camera for every single thing that I use. I use all different types of cameras for every different environment and different things that I film, but by far, the ZV-1 is my favorite camera. Now they did come out the ZV-1 Mark II. I have not got to use that yet, so that is something else that I would like to go over and kind of put in comparison with this as well. Right now, as of today, I'm going to make more videos, but as of today, I would say that this camera is going to be close. I will show you some videos of these side by side in low light, in the dark, outside at night, and you will see for yourself that the Pocket 2 can't even hold a candle to the Pocket 3. It's not even it's not even a fair race. Now, during the day, they'll probably be pretty close, but just off the one inch sensor, in my opinion, is worth the money. Now over here, it's pretty dark. I mean, it's not the darkest, but it's pretty dark. So we'll kind of see how both of these kind of handle the dark. It's not the brightest, but it's not the darkest yet. We can do some different comparisons, but I want to see how they handle the clarity, how they handle everything, to be honest with you. Because when we go in the dark, I want to see how good this will handle being in low, low light. Now over here, it's pretty dark. I mean, it's not the darkest, but it's pretty dark. So we'll kind of see how both of these kind of handle the dark. It's not the brightest, but it's not the darkest yet. We can do some different comparisons, but I want to see how they handle the clarity, how they handle everything, to be honest with you. Because when we go in the dark, I want to see how good this will handle being in low, low light. And now for extreme dark, it is really dark over here. So I'm going to show you where there is not a lot of light back here. I mean, this is like hardly any light in the pocket too. You can barely even tell what it even is. And the pocket three is just killing it. I mean, it looks like there's almost a light on and there's not like this is dark, like complete dark. This is crazy. I can't believe it's doing this well. Like this is blowing my mind comparable. 
dark to dark. And I haven't even put any kind of light on this yet. I could put an, an external light and that will probably help even more. For extreme dark, it is really dark over here. So I'm gonna show you where there is not a lot of light back here. I mean, this is like hardly any light in the pocket two, you can barely even tell what it even is. And the pocket three is just killing it. I mean, it looks like there's almost a light on and there's not like this is dark, like complete dark. This is crazy. I can't believe it's doing this well. Like this is blowing my mind comparable dark to dark. And I haven't even put any kind of light on this yet. I could put an, an external light and that will probably help even more for extreme dark. It is really dark over here. So I'm going to show you where there is not a lot of light back here. I mean, this is like hardly any light in the pocket two. You can barely even tell what it even is. And the pocket three is just killing it. I mean, it looks like there's almost a light on and there's not like this is dark, like complete dark. This is crazy. I can't believe it's doing this well. Like this is blowing my mind comparable dark to dark. And I haven't even put any kind of light on this yet. I could put an, an external light and that will probably help even more. Here's a comparison for you. Pocket three versus pocket two in the dark. Now there is a little light above here, so that is helping for both of them to be honest with you. So, but huge, huge difference at night dealing with the pocket two versus pocket three. Now this is where the game changer comes from because when I'm at night and I'm trying to use a GoPro, the GoPro looks exactly like the pocket two. So this thing's going to kill the GoPro in every category. And that's where I use it is in the night. When I film cars at night, I can't be having it look like I filmed it off my cell phone because man, my cell phone looks better than this pocket two, to be honest with you. Look at this. I can't even, you can't even tell there's almost even a car there. You just barely see a wheel. I mean, that's pretty bad to be honest with you. Side by side and you can see one and not the other. Here's a comparison for you. Pocket three versus pocket two in the dark. Now there is a little light above here, so that is helping for both of them to be honest with you. So, but huge, huge difference at night dealing with the pocket two versus pocket three. Now this is where the game changer comes from because when I'm at night and I'm trying to use a GoPro, the GoPro looks exactly like the Pocket 2. So this thing's going to kill the GoPro in every category. And that's where I use it is in the night. When I film cars at night, I can't be having it look like I filmed it off my cell phone because, man, my cell phone looks better than this Pocket 2, to be honest with you. Look at this. I can't even, you can't even tell there's almost even a car there. You can just barely see a wheel. I mean, that's pretty bad, to be honest with you side by side and you can see one and not the other. I'll try to do these cones right here as well. It's dark, but these cones are coming up with the pocket three, but I can't even get anything with the pocket two. I can barely even see them in there if they are in there. This is craziness. I'll try to do these cones right here as well. It's dark, but these cones are coming up with the pocket three, but I can't even get anything with the pocket two. I can barely even see them in there if they are in there. This is craziness. I'd also like to know everybody that's out there that has the actual pocket two, give me some feedback down below. Leave me some comments of what you think of the pocket two. If you have it and you haven't upgraded to the pocket three, leave me some feedback down below. Comment down below and let me know what you think of the Pocket 2 so far. Tell me what you think its strengths and what its weaknesses are. Let me know what you guys think. I would love to see in the comments down below of what everyone's feedback is on the Pocket 2. Now, if you have upgraded from the Pocket 2 to the Pocket 3, or you haven't even purchased a Pocket 2 and you bought the Pocket 3, let me know down below what you think of the Pocket 3. Now, if you guys have, you know, upgraded to this from, you know, from the pocket two, let me know that as well. I would like to know everybody else's feedback of what they're getting out of this pocket two or pocket three. I will also put a link down below 
for the Amazon affiliates link to where you can buy it. Just like I did, I bought both of these off of Amazon. It's easy, it was to my house within one day. Now I have Amazon right by me, but you can click on the link. I'll have it down in the description below. It comes from Amazon with the full warranty through Amazon and through DJI. That's how I buy all my products is through Amazon. You click on it, you can get a DJI. You can get the, you know, if you want the uh, Pocket 2 or if you want the Pocket 3. Now, in my opinion, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna tell you 100% honest truth. The Pocket 2 is definitely worth the money, but they need to lower the price. The price of this compared to this, if you can spend $169 more to get this, in my opinion, it's worth 500 bucks more. So please don't sell yourself short and spend $500 on a creator combo for the Pocket 2. Please don't do that to yourself. Now, if it was $400, buy it but do not buy it for anything more than $400. Buy the actual Pocket 3. It is worth the money by far. I think once the Pocket 3 is out for a little bit, they will drop the price of the Pocket 2 by far because this thing is like a Lamborghini compared to a Chevy Cavalier. This thing does its job and it'll get you to work every day, but it's got its strengths and it's got its weaknesses. This so far from testing it, I haven't seen a whole lot of weaknesses so far, but I'm gonna put it to test against a lot of you know, amazing cameras that I own, but I can tell you right now, GoPro, you better up your game because this thing, I'm gonna tell you right now, is probably one of the best cameras I've put in my hands and I haven't even had it that long. And I do have the Insta360 X3, I have the GoPro 360 Max, I have the Insta360 Go 3, I have the ZV-1, I have the ZV-E10, I have all these cameras and I'm gonna put them up against this because this couldn't go up against those cameras in low light or even in mid light. So this camera, I'm gonna put it up against all of them and show you guys what this thing will do by far. I wanna see what it will do against these cameras.